On Thursday, the House turned down a bill that would have made it a federal crime to abort an unborn child based on gender. Now, the bill fell about 30 votes short of a two-thirds majority after President Obama and Democrats opposed the bill, saying doctors could be subject to punishment for unknowingly performing an abortion because the mother had the abortion based on gender selection. I just uh, am astonished that the leader of the free world would be against a bill that would protect uh, unborn children from being aborted based on their sex. That vote comes a day after Planned Parenthood endorsed the president in his re-election bid. Planned Parenthood has recently come under fire after hidden camera uh, video at an Austin, Texas clinic revealed this. I see that you say you want to terminate if it's a girl, so are you just wanting to continue the pregnancy um, in the meantime, or what? Yeah, I think that would be the... Um the plan. I've had two abortions and I have four kids. Okay, so, <laughs> all right. So, so I mean, okay, again, yeah. from experience, yeah. I'm not, okay. there's nothing wrong with being pregnant immediately. Okay, right <laughs> all right. So then I'd want to schedule, um, try to schedule an ultrasound with an OB around then, and then I would still mm -hmm. be able to come back here mm -hmm. for a termination no, if it was a girl. Well, good luck. Thank and, you. And I hope that you do get your boy. Wow. That video was released by pro-life group Live Action. And joining me now is the founder of Live Action, Lila Rose, whom we welcome back to the show. Lila, great to see you. First of all, how did you find out that Planned Parenthood was participating in, in it really what amounts to gender selection? Mm -hmm. Well, we set out to discover how Planned Parenthood, who claims to be pro-women but is also the biggest abortion chain in our country, they perform over 300,000 abortions every year, to discover what they would do when gender selection came to their door because it does. We know in America experts say that gender selection is rising, it's called gender side, and that we're having in some parts of the country worse gender disparities than in China or India because people are, are choosing to abort girls girls disproportionately. And so our, our investigators went undercover and in every clinic Governor, they saw again and again Planned Parenthood workers arranging often late-term abortions. These are when the baby's brain is developed. They even talk about this on the tapes. They say everything's already developed, but come and confirm the gender with an ultrasound, then come back to the clinic, and we'll schedule you for a late-term abortion, and we hope you get your boy. Lala, were there any cases where the Planned Parenthood clinics declined or refused to do an abortion based on gender when it was clearly presented to them? Mm -hmm by the uh, mother going undercover that that's what they were attempting to obtain. In every case when they were given the opportunity, Planned Parenthood wanted to assist in performing a sex selective abortion. No exceptions. Across the board. No exceptions across the board. They have come back and said, well, but this, this uh, was edited and you guys were unfair. Mm. Was that edited videotape in some way that twisted the outcome of the meeting? Well, you know what's fascinating is the fact that Planned Parenthood says the videos are edited and we always release the full footage along with a shorter version for the public to see. And they still fired the employee in, out of Texas and claimed that they retrained their whole staff. So on one hand, they say that the videos aren't tr true. And then the other hand, they're retraining their staff and firing employees. It's part of their contradictions and, and, and I think hypocrisy because they claim that they condemn gender selection abortion. They claim that they condemn gender bias. But at the same time, they say they won't judge and they refuse to stop doing them. When, uh, when Planned Parenthood carries out these kind of, uh, for, for me, and I'll just be blunt, hideous procedures, especially, I, and not that they're ever good, but when, when a person blatantly says, I only want to have the baby if it's a boy, it, it seems to me that is the ultimate assault, the ultimate war on women, to say that women aren't as valuable as men in the process of birth. It's absolutely true. I mean, it's, it's amazing because we hear so much rhetoric about the war on women, and about these attacks on women and, and needing to protect women, but we're missing over 160 million women worldwide because of gender side, because of little girls being targeted in utero most often for abortion. And the abortion industry is fighting tooth and nail to continue to, for this to be legal in our country and to continue to be able to do it. Absolutely uh, shocking. Lila Rose, it's always great to see you and thanks for what you do. Let me mention as we talk about this issue, 
we shouldn't be surprised. For 40 years in this country, we have desensitized people to the idea that an unborn child is actually a human being. And, and if the whole virtue, if the greatest, uh, I guess, possibility that we experience as an American is to choose, including the, the choice of taking the life of an unborn child, it should not be a big shock to us that that choice could get to the point where we could choose not just gender, hair color, uh, perfection in any area. This is why I think it's so important that uh, all of us who value life from the moment of conception uh, stand and, and are very clear in not just what we find objectionable, but why.